on the way to Ikea for breakfast and then the Apple store so that they can replace my mouse. And if we have some time, we're hoping to stop by Jimboree and let Nina run around. She hasn't done that in a very long time. We had tons of traffic and got here about half an hour later than we wanted to, which means that we have to eat, have our breakfast very quickly and then head over to Roosevelt Field Mall, which is about five miles away um, to make it to the Genius Bar appointment that we have. What's that? Sausage. Potato. Potato. At breakfast, running back out. I have to try to make it to my appointment. I have about 15 or 18 minutes to get there. At the mall now, rushing. I'm uh, I think four minutes late. And uh, normally it's a pretty big deal, at least in the busy Apple stores, when you're late because uh, there's so many people and you have to just wait for an open spot, which normally takes hours. Um, they have pulled up all of the floor. So that means they're getting ready to put in a nice floor. And that post is not done yet, but this one is. At least the top part, not the bottom. They're looking nicer. I like change. I like when it makes things pretty. At the Genius Bar, it doesn't seem like my tardiness had any negative effects on them seeing me, so I'm just waiting for someone to come over and ask me what's wrong. So I was just told by a customer next to me that she has a 10.30 appointment and she's been waiting for half an hour. I'm going to be here for a while. I'm going to send mommy and the kids to go play. Well, I got the mouse replacement for free uh, because I'm still under warranty. And now we're walking around until it's time for Nina's Jimboree class. That's how mommy walks around. Sorry, from here. Okay, there we go. No, still shaking. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, we're getting massage. I'll try to stabilize this later. Playing horse in Bed Bath and Beyond. Where's Nina? Where's Nina? There she is. There she is. We are about to stop at Gym Buri because they have a walk-in free gym session. It's not free but it just means that they could play around and do whatever they want. So we're gonna pay for that walk-in. And she hasn't been here in about six months or maybe more. So we're wondering if she even remembers the place because you know, six months for babies is like years. I'll say Snowflake. Right on it. I'll, if I wanna do credit card, I'll give you my credit card next month. Is that fine? I don't think you ever taught her the word snowflake, so she must have gotten that off of TV. Or on the set. That's your building. Just remember that. So it automatically goes. It automatically goes. Look over there. You see that? It's okay. Go under. You didn't go under, baby. Go under. Go under. You don't pick it up, you have to crawl. No under. Okay, let's go try a slide. Okay, ready? Hey, that wasn't ready for you. <laughs> Come this way. It's a square, yeah. What's that? Circle. What's that? Triangle. Nina, come up. It's like a, um, I feel like a lion tamer. 
Okay, ready? Slide. Slide, Nina, slide. You used to do this all the time. She's like, I know about pain now. Oh, do you remember the horse? Maybe this is where her love of horses began. The s slowest slide ever. She was gripping me too. She was a little nervous. I think it's because she, she understands now what happens if you fall. She's carrying right now. She's dancing. Good girl. Good job, baby. This is the trickiest part for her. For some reason, she can't go under. Under. There you go. Yes. Can okay, I sit down? Sit. She thinks that Nina can't hear. We also haven't done this in a long time. Where's mommy?
it's finished. It's finished. We're on our way to my parents' house to drop off the gasket for my father and possibly going into the city. We don't know yet. Next time you go to Taco Bell, make sure you ask for the Juan Bean Burrito. It's really good. So we went to my parents' house so that I can help my father. I, well, I gave him the gasket that he needed for the sewage pipe, but then he needed also to cut the sewage pipe and he couldn't do that by himself because it's a big pipe and it moves around while it's being cut. So he needed somebody to hold it, so I went over to do that. And I figured since I was there, I might as well just put it in because putting it in was the easy part of the job. You know, everything else that was difficult, we took care of already. And uh, we went to put it in. I got it fitted in there, but it couldn't come down because it was a little piece of wood that was sticking out. So we decided to cut that piece of wood with a sawzall. And that cut, and after I finished cutting it, I started hearing a hissing sound. And I inspected the area, and on the side of where that wood piece was, there was a water line, which got part of the, uh, the sawzall, the, the, the saw on it, and it nicked a small hole into it, which was spraying everywhere. So we turned off the water, cut the pipe out, and put a coupling on it and uh, there's a trick that we do where we take like bread and we put it into the side which normally would have the water even though the water's off there's still water in the pipes and once you start heating it up that water boils and travels towards the heat and brings the heat down so you can't solder so we put bread in there which usually works when you're soldering anything what you're supposed to do is heat up whatever you want to solder to the point where it's so hot that it melts the solder on it without need of a heat source. That thing should be hot enough. Um, if you don't do that, then the solder cools off too quickly before it actually grips the metal. And it's called a cold solder joint. And if you slightly bang it, it'll just crack right off. Anyway, we were trying to rush because um, I was trying to get out of the house as quickly as possible. And there was definitely not enough solder on and I said, wait, let's try, try some more. And, you know, my dad said, well, let's just test that the water works. We turned on the water and it sprayed everywhere. Now through both sides of the coupling. And so we had to turn it off. But now it was somewhat soldered, but full of water. And you can't get it off if there's water inside because there's no matter how much you heat it, it's never going to get hot enough for it to melt the solder that's already on it. So what I ended up having to do since my dad had a lot of uh, spare water tubes, was cut around the entire piece that had the problem, including the coupling, which was about four inches, and put two new couplings. And that's what I was in the process of doing when my uncle came to help, because um, he works in Queens somewhere, uh, in Astoria, so, and he doesn't have a car, so it took him a while to get here. But um, he got here, and he's also handy. So I was able to switch off with him. So he's gonna finish off the job and hopefully my father will send me some footage of what it looks like when it's done. Um, if I don't get to go back in time for that. That was our adventure at my parents' house. Let me see, do it again. Do it again. Cupcakes. Yes, that's actually a popcorn, that's not a cupcake. Cupcake, please. Someone just completely devoured one of these. She hasn't had these little packs in a long time because we've been trying to get her to have solid foods. But back when she used to have them, she would only have like a third 
or maybe half, and then we would try to save the rest for the next day. But she finished it, eh, like in a minute, faster than I can get the camera. It was mango flavored. She really liked it. You like mango? She's practicing for the real ones. The end. What is that, Nina? What are you eating? What is that? Strawberry. Say str <gasps> Nina, say strawberry. Strawberry. Now eat it. The kids have been doing well at night lately. Nina's been sleeping through the night for most of the nights this week. She's had one. And by this week, I mean last week because now it's Monday. But she had one day when she didn't. And she woke up at 3 for a bottle. But other than that, she's been doing really well with her sleeping. She's very tired now. So I'm going to give her a little bottle, read her a little book, and hope that she has another good through the night sleep. This is a record for me, I guess, um, putting her to bed. I didn't do anything. Um, I didn't even read her a book. I wanted to, but she seemed really sleepy, so I gave her two books. I came out, made her bottle. I went back and gave her her bottle, and um, she asked me for this thing that she thinks is a bubble wand, but it, I don't know what it is. It's not anything. So I gave it to her, and I just went back to check on her, and she's asleep. Good night, Nina. Good night, Cal. We love you. Have sweet dreams.